Hi everyone, C Chronicles here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're joining me here for the very first time, my content is mostly fragrance reviews, but I do throw in fashion videos and vlogs from time to time. And if that sounds like something that interests you guys, please do consider joining this family by subscribing. And to those who are returning, thank you so much for the continued support. I do not take that for granted at all. So welcome to another fragrance uh, review video. I have a Latafa today and look at what Latafa has done. You know, I was looking at this and I thought this would make an absolute beautiful gift. You know, if you were just stuck on what to gift somebody, imagine gifting them this. Let me open it for you. Yeah, this is how you get to the fragrance, guys. And the fragrance is one of the be most beautiful bottles I've ever seen. Okay, I do think this is a bit overboard, but I think it makes a perfect gift. Okay, so the fragrance itself is called Sondos. It is one of the latest Latafas uh, that are flying about at the moment. It looks like... Um, it looks like Latafa didn't come to play, guys. So this is the bottle. I will try and put a close-up of it. For those who want to see the atomizer, this is the atomizer. Now, I'm going to give mine a quick spray on my arm there, and then I'll tell you my thoughts. I did find notes flying about, but I wasn't exactly sure whether they were accurate or not. So it's going to be one of those fragrances that I go with my nose, okay? What I can tell you offset is this is a sweet fragrance. It opens up with a fruity blast something that feels like canned pineapple um in syrup this is what i get uh, but it is a fragrance with depth this is not plasticky in any way so gonna have to say that in as much as latafa always markets their fragrances for you know as unisex i'm gonna say it does lean a lot feminine to me so there is obviously that feel of pineapple it could be uh, apricot it could be peach but there is a fruit here uh, that comes through and then enters what feels like a deep and rich caramel an unmistaken caramel and like i said these are notes that are coming off my head immediately you wrapped in a fragrance that feels seductive flirty you know that is the character of this fragrance i get a grown-up but not necessarily vinty, mature fragrance as well. If you don't like fr sweet fragrances, you might find this one syrupy sweet. I am gonna tell you what I think I liken this fragrance to, and I did a test run just to be sure. I also get, you know, like a fantasy note, like a fantasy note of popcorn, a touch of saltiness in there, but not enough to disturb that sweetness. So overall, I'm going to say it is a gourmand, kind of savory kind of fragrance. That's definitely what I get after maybe like, say, 45 minutes to an hour, starts to kind of introduce a powderiness to it there that I'm going to guess is maybe iris or violet, okay? What you're going to carry through is that sweetness, obviously, and uh, like a dust patchouli so there is an unmistakable patchouli here but the patchouli is not translating as green it's translating more as dusty uh, than anything else what i get from this fragrance where it takes me this fragrance takes me to the original miss dio cherie i think the one that was i think it was a 2007 um original one if i'm not mistaken the one a lot of people are not so happy that it was discontinued so that is what I get from this fragrance. This just evoked that memory because I did have Miss Dio Cherie as my um, signature scent for, I think, three years. And the minute I sprayed this on my arm, I just immediately went there. It was just Miss Dio Cherie, the original one, not the reformulated, not the, uh, you know, not the flankers, the original one. So I would love to know if anybody else purchases this fragrance and they feel the same. You know, uh, why I'm saying this is obviously I don't have Miss Dio Cherie in my collection. It's a fragrance I used uh, over 15 years ago and my memory, my senses, my, you know, could be just my palette, could be playing with me but i get that a lot in as much as some people may say they feel a little bit of la via bell i wore this side by side it definitely wasn't la via bell this one has got more depth more caramel uh you know and that dusty patchouli and a popcorn note that is unmistakable that i get there so yeah absolutely something beautiful from latafa doesn't feel like the traditional Latafas. And Latafa has been, you know, uh, associated with Oud. This distances itself 
from the traditional Latafa. And it looks like Latafa themselves are trying for the Western market because now they are popular and, you know, they're getting a lot of traction everywhere. I think they are really trying uh, to cater for their Western, uh, you know, their Western uh, clients. And this is Western based. I get a fragrance that is very wearable. I get an easy fragrance. As long as you love sweet uh, fragrances, I get a sophisticated fragrance as well. By easy, I'm not saying it's a fly by night, uh, easy scent profile. No, I'm getting a, a fragrance that is, uh, you know, like boss lady kind of thing, a sultry, sexy, uh, you know, fragrance, if you will. Uh, the only thing that I can say is probably a con for this is it might be too sweet for others. Some might think the bottle is horrendous um, because it's it's a tall bottle. It's like a, a gin or whatever bottle. It's a tall bottle. So for some, that might be a con. Another thing that is possibly maybe a con for some is it might be too perfumey because it does, you know, have that DNA where it's too perfumey in nature it's like a perfumey perfumey vibe if you know what i mean you know i mean those who love perfumes can relate this gave me beastie guys i have just started using this uh but let me just show you where i'm at with this fragrance um it does give me beastly it is a fragrance that i think i'm gonna get a backup of because i am absolutely impressed if you are one of those people that didn't like the fact that misty or Cherie, the original formulation was discontinued you may want to get your nose on latafa sundos and let me know what you think am i spot on if you smell miss Yoshiri, let me know what you think guys but i am definitely impressed c chronicles is my name thank you so much guys for joining me today let's meet in the comment section where we obviously discuss more about fragrances this was our fragrance for today latafa sandos uh latafa sandos i don't know why i keep calling it sandos this was our fragrance for the day um, let me know what you think of this fragrance and do turn on post notifications that way you get to be notified anytime I upload a video like and share this video and remember guys that smelling good is a form of good manners cheers <laughs>